This is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. Now, with all the AI generators in Rage, okay, now it's really easy, easier than before, to create graphics using AI platforms, okay? Um, I recently discovered one and I'm very excited to share with you. In fact, now it's going to be super easy for you to just grab inspiration that you can find online and use them to create lovely graphics for your own designs. Okay, whether it's designing digital products, using it as part of your marketing materials, or even selling what we call commercial use templates. Okay, which is what my expertise lie in okay i do create and sell Canva templates with commercial use rights so very often i need to look for graphics that can allow me to include in these editable Canva templates and resell them to my customers so commercial use license rights are actually very important in the graphics that i choose and i want to show you how you can generate graphics that you can use safely okay so let's dive in now, some of you might already be aware that I'm a huge fan of Creative Fabrica because I use a lot of their graphics in my trainings as well as in the products that I create to um, sell as printables, okay, printables that I design. Now, more recently, they have actually added a very exciting feature, which is called Creative Spark, okay, Spark under Creative Spark. Fabrica. But in this particular video, what I want to draw your attention to is one of their newest tools called Creative Fabrica Spark Extension. Okay, one thing to note, this is a Chrome browser extension, so you will have to, well, install it in your Chrome browser. What it does is that after you install this extension, what you're going to see is that this button, this CF generate button is going to appear almost every time you hover around certain images. And what it does is right after you click, click on generate, you will then be brought to CF spark image mix. Okay, so then after that, you can use the reference photo or reference image to generate a whole slew of different designs that you can use safely. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Now, of course, firstly, we need to go to creativefabrica.com slash spark slash chrome dash browser dash extension. Okay, too complicated? Don't worry. Look for the link in the video description below. I will also include a QR code at the end of this video. So all you have to do is fish out your camera phone, scan the QR code, and then you can actually be led to that um, platform, the page where you can actually download it. Okay. If not, of course, if you are using your computer, go to the link in the video description. Okay. So we are going to get CF Spark extension and you basically want to just add it to Chrome, okay? Give it a few moments and then it will, ins it will be installed in your Chrome browser, okay? That was really fast. The CS Spark Generate button is successfully installed. Now, when I first knew about this CF Spark Chrome extension, my main concern as a lot of times where I use images in the products that I create is commercial use license rights, okay? Now, this basically means that having this Chrome browser extension allows you to make use of the images that you find online to generate other images that you can then use in your products. But because it feels a little sensitive when it comes to commercial use licenses, what I will personally recommend is that you only use this Chrome browser extension on images that you are aware of the commercial use rights okay so what do i mean public domain images okay i'm just gonna google for public domain pictures now public domain pictures or public domain basically just means that um the images are free to use okay right here we've got this just to go through with you term public domain refers to creative materials that are not protected by intellectual property laws such as copyright trademark or patent laws so it means that whatever public domain images that you find are free for use whether it is to create personal use products or to create other templates or designs that you sell so these are super safe to use okay so if i were to use the cf spark 
browser plugin, the Chrome extension plugin, I would use them on public domain images. Okay, so where do you find public domain images? You can just search for public domain images. Now we see Unsplash, we see uh, Pexels, and we see uh, there are several ones like the Smithsonian magazine. There are also this. There's also this library of millions of images um, under public domain. Okay, and if I'm not wrong, Pexels. Did I just mention Pexels? Yeah, so these are actually the few public domain uh, sites that I'm more familiar with that I've also used images from there before. So let's try Pexels.com. Okay, so as you can see, these include public domain images. You can use them for free. You can use them for both commercial and personal use. All right, so now that I have the CF Spark plugin installed, you see when I hover over the images, this little purple generate button appears. That is the plugin in action. Now, let's say I want to search for something more specific. Let me look for watercolor florals and see what we get. I create lots of different printables and one of my favorite designs or graphics are actually watercolor flowers. Okay, so I love to make my planners and calendars very pretty. So I love using watercolor graphics. So let's see what we can do with this CS Spark generator. Oh, this painting looks pretty nice. So if I were to click on this one, generate, once you click on the generate button, you are brought to creativefabrica.com's Spark, okay, image mix, okay, image mix. Now you can see that actually I have already tried this out several times and I love the results just to share with you some of the stuff that I have done. Okay, look at that. So this one, this is an image that I found from a public domain website. And like, like you see, it's a set of watercolor flowers. And then I just use this image mix feature and then generates me another 12 images right here. Very pretty. And I can download them to use. And after you use the same image once to generate this set of 12 images, you can just click on use again and just use the same origin image to generate a different set of graphics. Okay, here we've got some of these like cherry blossoms. I found them from pixabay.com. Okay, so pixabay.com is also another platform where you can find public domain images. And here, another image from pixabay.com and I came up with this new set of florals. And this one, I like this one. This is also from pixabay.com, uh, just from this particular image, which I used. I click on the generate button, brought here to CF Spark image mix, got these new set of 12 images, which I downloaded a few. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how I use these images to incorporate into my printables design. All right, and here, isn't this lovely? This is from pexels.com. Here, some Mandela colorable images from pixabay.com. So as you have seen me, what I just did was I just searched for watercolor florals on the website pexels.com. I hover my mouse over these images. I click on the generate button. I am brought to CF Spark image mix. And all I have to do is click generate. And we wait. Okay. Um, there were times where it took a while for the generate generation thingy to actually run. So you just got to be patient a bit. Um, well, but I think this is as fast as it can get, you know, getting a new set of graphics in just a matter of moments. So just wait around. But if not, we can head back and look for more images first. Let's see if we have more specific flowers. Mm. I'd like to see what this one can bring me. I'm going to click on generate too. Uh, we are here. Once again, you can see the thumbnail of the origin image, the original image and click on generate to let it run. Okay. So I guess it depends on how complex the image is. 
it, and how strong your internet connection is. So it's going to take a while to generate, okay? But meanwhile, while this is generating, we will come back to this later. I also want to show you, it also means not only can you generate like abstract watercolor images like these, bouquet of flowers like these, you can also search for coloring pages, right? On these sites, which allows you to use public domain images, you can also search for coloring pages, coloring mandalas, coloring animals for kids, for example. You know, coloring pages for kids, grab those images, and then after that, click on generate, come to CF Spark image mix, and there we go. Look at that. We have this set of colorful watercolor abstract background. Now, what would I use these for? I would use these to create, um, I could use them to create digital planner covers. I could use them to create backgrounds for wall art designs. I could use them to create my Instagram images and stuff like that, right? Well, they're images. You're free to use them any way you like. All you have to do is click on download, okay? Pick what you want and then click on download and then it's gonna generate a download before you actually download it to your computer. Wow, I love these. These are so pretty. I love these. Okay, I'm just gonna download these as well. And they they look like they can be used to create very nice uh, wall art or some kind of printable backgrounds as well. Okay, so there you have it. Super simple. All you have to do is go to the CS Spark browser and install it. It only took a few moments to be installed to your Chrome browser. And after that, every time you mouse over an image, you will see the generate button, click on it, go to CS Spark image, click on generate, give it a few moments to generate the images that you want. Okay, just to expand it a little bit more, I wanna show you like for this particular set of images, these are bouquets, right? but I don't just want to use them like this. I want to get rid of the background, the purple background, and use the individual floral bouquets in my printables design. So how did I do that? I would have to download them, okay, download the individual images, and after that, head over to Canva. Now, canva.com, if you are new to it, you can actually set up a free Canva account, okay? However, in this particular video, the feature, some of the features I'm using are only found in the Canva Pro accounts. It's about $16 a month for subscription, but I personally find it to be super worth it if you want to get the Pro subscription, okay? So let's just go to create a new design and search for US letter. Um, no, let me go, sorry. I'm gonna do a custom design and let's have it a thousand by a thousand pixels, okay? So now remember I downloaded the images of the floral bouquets, right? Let me just open one up for you. So here we have it and I wanna show you the information. So you can see right here is actually 4096 by 4096. Okay, some fine print over here, but what we can tell is that the dimensions of this particular image is 1496 by 1496 pixels. Okay, so it's actually pretty large. You're getting pretty good resolution for it. Um, and then I created a new project on Canva, which is a thousand by a thousand pixels. Okay, so it's actually smaller than the original resolution of the images. And then I'm gonna upload the image uh, of these bouquets. So we have them right here. So let's say I click on this one. I want to use this bouquet, but I want to get rid of the background. So this is actually a pro feature. So you click on this image, you go to edit image, and you want to choose this background remover. When you see this little crown next to it, it actually means that this is only a feature available for Canva Pro users. If you are a Canva free user, you try to click on something with a crown, there's a window that's gonna pop up to advise you to either start a free trial for Canva Pro or just start paying for it, okay? So let's click on that. And once again, it takes a while to load, let it load. It's ideally, it's gonna remove the purple background entirely. Voila, there we go. Apply. So I really, really love this feature and I think it makes it so much more flexible for us to use this image. 
Once again, let me just rewind and repeat, right? So we have this awesome new tool that we can just quickly and easily install onto our Chrome browser. It allows us to pick images that we find online and then use them as a source of inspiration to generate other adaptations of these original image, right? We have a new set of 12 images. However, as a digital content creator myself, I try to be very mindful of copyright issues, of commercial use license rights and stuff like that. So my personal advice, this does not constitute to legal advice. I am not qualified to give you legal advice, but I would personally encourage you to use this Chrome browser extension on public domain images. Okay, public domain images because you know that they are not uh, they're not governed by any copyright laws or trademark issues, so it's free to use. So you can use it safely. And the idea is if you find an image that you like and it's public domain, why not use this CF Spark Chrome extension to generate different variations so you can have a whole lot more images that you can use. Okay, so this is what I just did. And then I imported that image and uploaded it onto Canva and I used the Canva feature to remove the background and there we go. So now if I want to save this as a new image, all I have to do is go to share. Once again, this is a Canva Pro feature. Click on download. I'm going to save this as a new image, right? Without the purple background, select PNG, check the box for transparent background. Look over here, there's this little crown, which means this is a Canva Pro feature. Click on download, give it a few moments. So now I have this new purple bouquet that is, is for me to use. I technically own it. Okay, so I generated this, this belongs to me, no copyright issues whatsoever. Then I'm going to go back to the left hand side menu, uploads. Now re upload this image with a transparent background so that I can then use it for any of my other designs. Okay, so. Let's do this. Now I'm going to go to create a new design. Let's say I want to do an Instagram post, for example, an Instagram post, a square post. I could use the floral image to create, let's say, planners, calendars, journals, right? To beautify the printables that I do. I can also use it as part of my marketing materials. So maybe I love this and I want to create an Instagram post with some nice floral background. Do that. Control D to duplicate and then to where is that little, this little two arrows in a circle. It means to swivel the image around and just to hug the corners of this. And then maybe I want to add a background color. I can go to the color palette and use this eyedropper function to pick off one of these lighter shades. There we go. And then let's say I have this quote, stop dreaming and start doing. Now, where did I get this quote from? Same thing, I actually got this from Creative Fabrica. It's one of the quotes bundles that I got. Okay, so let's just quickly hop on back to Creative Fabrica. It has tons and tons of graphics, SVG files, fonts, digital papers, different, different types of stuff that you can get. And it allows you to use for commercial use purpose, which means you can actually incorporate them into the products that you sell. All right. So let me just search for inspirational quotes. And there we have it. So you have all these different things, right? Now we have some inspirational quotes that are already very nicely designed, but sometimes I like to stick to the ones that are simple and black. So then it maybe gives me a little bit more room to add on my own colors and designs. Okay. So this is how I got this particular quote that you see. Okay. Stop dreaming, start doing, and I like it the way it is. If I want, I can actually edit image. And maybe this time around, I want to use the glow, little shadow, go to the filters or sliders, sorry, sliders, and maybe just pick a color like this so that 
it helps me add on to a slightly different hue of glow around the words. I can change the size of the glow. I can adjust the transparency of the glow. I can adjust how blur I want it or how sharp I want it. And there we go. So that's it. Okay, let's keep this simple. And there we have it. So this could be my new Instagram post. And of course, if I'm happy with it, I'm done with it. Just click on share, go to download and save this image. And that's it. That is it. This is meant to be really simple. I hope this is how you, I hope that is your takeaway from watching this video. Okay, so get that CF Spark browser plugin because it's gonna make graphic design much more fun. You can just grab images online and then just generate your own variety variation. And then after that, if you like, hit back to Canva remove the backgrounds or modify it however you want and then incorporate that into your own designs okay whether it's for digital products web design or creating your social media marketing materials all right so if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in a the comment section i do read through them myself i will answer them as soon as possible if you have any other you know requests for certain canva tutorials also, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I hope to create those videos for you as soon as humanly possible, okay? So that's all for today. I do hope that you like this new CS Spark browser plugin. Once again, look at the video description to get the URL to download the plugin for your Chrome browser, all right? That's all for now. Please do like this video, follow our channel, subscribe to it, and stay tuned to more helpful videos like this. I'll see you around.